Understanding and accepting differences was the focus of a five-month volunteer project at Sacred Heart Catholic School in Espanola, which showed grade three and four students how to include one of their peers who has autism in everyday class life. They've been working uh, specifically with one student who has autism in the class, and they're trying to help this one student to develop social skills and interaction skills with his peers. How can we now support this student's learning and assist him with developing peer relations and social interactions within our school? We've been working throughout the year with a specific classroom in incorporating uh, more awareness uh, for autism itself, and that was with the whole class that, and with the students themselves with autism, uh, just to build more bridges in an understanding of you know that we're all from different worlds and, and how to respond in a better way toward each other. Laurenti and Blake Priddle culminated weekly visits to the school by putting together social stories to show how people can be easily excluded because they are different. Priddle, who has autism, and Laurenti proved to be an effective and dynamic duo. Oh, it's been really great. It's been a really good experience for me. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with an autistic boy named Spencer, and it's good because um, I know what it's like to have autism, so I know what you know, he must be going through every day because in, our, in a way our minds are almost identical. I see a lot of myself in Spencer from when I was little. The bigger picture for us was to have the children be mindful to include all. So with all of our differences and the different, different backgrounds we all come from, to be more compassionate, to have more empathy to each other. The students in attendance have been including their classmate Spencer, who has autism, in various activities with a focus on social interaction. They have learned much over the past months, especially that not being included in the larger group can be hurtful. Well, I guess I was sort of happy because it was explained to people who don't understand me, to try and just be, try and understand me. I thought it was really neat and that everybody is different and they should always include everybody in recess. I thought it was kind of inspiring to, so whenever anyone comes that are new, to try to make friends with them, just in case no one wants to be their friend. As someone who deals with autism on a daily basis, Priddle still looks to overcome his discomfort in large groups and a feeling of being overwhelmed. While he helped the students learn about how Spencer sees things, he also gained new insights from his visits to the school. One of the reasons I decided to become a volunteer was because I was laid off from my job at uh, the radio station and I needed to do some volunteer work and uh, Shelley Wickerick had suggested it to me and uh, I thought, you know what, this will be a great experience for me, it's social, it's, um, um, you know, it's teaching another boy to be social and uh, it was a great way to you know, get my foot uh, out the door, so to speak. Working with Blake has been really delightful. Uh, it's been a, a big learning curve for both of us because we get to know each other in a brand new way. But it has. It has brought that first-person perspective uh, that I can't bring, but can be a great uh, mentorship for the children and has been in this school particularly for the year. The entire experience was an eye-opener for all involved. Important lessons were learned to help the students better deal with the differences that everyone has. I'm Jim Fitzpatrick for Go Sault Ste. Marie.